Are you someone who values fresh, long-lasting food and to reduce waste? Then this video is for you. Let's explore the science behind modified atmosphere packaging and how it is transformed in the way we preserve food. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Esculenta Science. When packed in air, food is susceptible to three main spoilage mechanisms simple oxidation, bacterial growth, and mold growth. However, all of these can be suppressed or reduced by packaging the food in the appropriate modified atmosphere. In this video, we are going to learn about a modern method of food packaging called Modified Atmosphere Packaging or MAP. So, to figure out what MAP exactly is, let's start with the basic concepts. In simple terms, this method involves altering the atmosphere around a food product by removing the air inside its packaging and replacing it with the gases that are safe for both the food and consumers. This helps regulate biochemical, enzymatic and microbial activities without relying on temperature changes or chemical treatments. In most cases, MAP is aimed at eliminating or reducing oxygen inside the packaging and replacing it with the mixture of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. In other words, the gases employed for modified atmosphere packaging includes carbon dioxide, nitrogen and oxygen. All of gases are naturally present in atmosphere and in here, carbon dioxide actively eliminates growth of bacteria and molds. Oxygen causes oxidation of oil or fats present in the food product. It also allows aerobic bacteria and mold to survive. Nitrogen is essentially inert. Presence of nitrogen gas prevents the package collapse that can take place because of high concentration of carbon dioxide. Therefore, whenever required, the balance of modified atmosphere is created with nitrogen. In special cases, such as packing red meat and fresh produce, the opposite is correct. We will not eliminate the oxygen, but instead increase its concentration to prevent anaerobic growth. Therefore, normally MAP requires a mixture of at least two gases, and the optimum proportions vary from product to product. As it was mentioned, we are not going to mix these gases in the same way for all kinds of foods, depending on the type of food products and specific causes of their spoilage or quality deterioration, the gas mixture would be different. This table gives gas composition for some of the food products packed using modified atmosphere packaging. For example, mechanisms that limit the shelf life of raw red meat are microbial growth and oxidation of the red myoglobin pigments and convert it to oxidized brown metmyoglobin. For this reason, high concentration of oxygen are necessary in order to maintain the desirable red color for a long period of time. With the right mixtures, the practical shelf life of consumer packed meat can be extend from 2 to 4 days to 5 to 8 days at 4 celsius. Also, carbon dioxide has a strong inhibiting effect on the growth of bacteria of which the pseudomonas present in the greatest problem of fresh meat. As in other examples, let's consider dry foods 
and snacks like peanuts, potato chips and the baby milk powder. These foods contain unsaturated fats that make them sensitive to oxidation and rancidity when oxygen is around. So, the oxygen amount must be reduced to under 1.5% and the rest of the air inside of the package must be replaced with nitrogen. In the packaging of some other type of food such as cheese, the mixture is completely different. In this case, carbon dioxide is used first and foremost. The carbon dioxide level in hard cheese packages is up to 100% and for soft cheeses, the level is usually restricted to 20-40%. to 40%. The reason for this is to prevent the package from collapsing under atmosphere pressure as the carbon dioxide dissolves into the water content. With the ready meals and catered food, customers expect healthiness and high quality with long shelf life without chemical additives and with minimal preparation. In order to meet these demands, atmosphere control combined with the correct temperature is the best solution. There are lots of other food categories requiring specific MAP gas mixtures. Fresh producers are one of them. There are two main methods for creating modified atmosphere conditions. They are passive packaging and active packaging. In passive packaging, modified atmosphere is passively generated inside a sealed package. This is happening as a result of a product respiration that is utilization of oxygen and release of carbon dioxide. Thus, passive packaging is also known as Commodity Generated MAP Generally, the gas permeability of the packaging cover is such that oxygen can easily enter the package and excess carbon dioxide can diffuse out from the package. If product's respiration values matches with the permeability attributes of the film, at that time a favorable modified atmosphere could be passively built inside the package. In active packaging, modified atmosphere is generated by dragging a modest vacuum in a package and substituting the package atmosphere with the required compression of gases. Also, active packaging can be established by using ethylene scavengers or emitters. Matching scavengers or emitters can quickly create modified atmosphere within sealed packages. By employing active packaging technique, modified atmosphere is more rapidly created than using passive techniques. Now let's see how we select the best packaging material as it is essential to maintain the quality and safety of MAP foods. There are six main characteristics to consider. Resistant to puncture, sealing ability, antifogging properties, carbon dioxide impermeability, oxygen impermeability, and low water transmission rate. All in all, there are lots of benefits of using MAP. Increased shelf life, little or no need for chemical preservatives, improved presentation, clear view, and reduction in production and storage cost. So, at last but not least, let's learn about the advantages and limitations of MAP. MAP can offer advantages like followings. It can retain original quality of food product and it maintains the texture, flavor and taste of food products. Also, shelf life of the food items can be increased and retail waste is reduced. Chemical preservatives are not required and it reduces the aerobic growth of microorganisms and their effect. Although MAP is a good method of preservation, there are limitations also. Gases and packaging material used in MAP are very expensive and capital cost of packaging machine is high. Also, costly examination is required to calculate the desired gas composition for the MAP. And there are chances for possible developments of foodborne pathogens. 
and advantages of MAP are completely lost if packager is damaged. And finally, in some cases, all flavors are developed when food is packed under MAP. So this is the brief overview of modified atmosphere packaging. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. We will see you with a new lesson and until then, thanks for watching.